Well, welcome back to our tutorials on HTML. In this series, we've specifically been looking at how to set up data tables, not layout tables, but data tables inside of HTML. And in the last video, we went um, into Dreamweaver and we saw how the insert table option could really speed up placing a data table onto a page. And there's absolutely no reason not to use that tool if you're um, working with Dreamweaver to start your table. But whenever you become um, dependent upon any of these tools inside of Dreamweaver to set things up, um, when you have to go back and customize them or modify them in some special way, you won't actually know how to work with the code. So before you ever start working with any of these tools inside of Dreamweaver, you should always learn how to do things by hand. That way, when you go ahead and use those tools to speed things up, you can quickly go in and make them um, work the way you want them to. So we're going to look how to set up a table by hand in this video. So I've gone ahead and I've opened up my index file and I've gone ahead and clicked in my body area and I'm going to create the table by using the table tag. And we always remember whenever we open a table we always close a table and I tend to close things um, as soon as I open them. Not everything but uh, oftentimes that way I don't forget. So I've gone ahead and created a table. Now there are four cell or there are four elements that we're going to be looking at right now. We're going to be looking at the TR element, we're going to be looking at the TH element, and we're going to be looking at the TD element in addition to the table element. The TR element stands for table row. And whenever you want to create a new row in your table, that's when you're always going to use the TR command. And then you either use TDs or THs depending upon what kind of a table you're setting up and where your headers are and where your data cells are. In our case, we're just going to create a um, four-column, three-row table, and the first row inside of our uh, table are, is going to be um, the header row, and we're not going to have any headers on our columns. So again, I've gone ahead and I've used the table tag to open that um, table up, and then I'm going to go ahead and do TR, and hit enter a couple times and close that. So that's the first row in my table. I'll do the same thing down here a little bit. There's second row in my table. And there is a third row in my table. Oops. And actually we'll do four rows for what we're doing right now. So I, you can see here, I've gone ahead and opened the table up and I've got one, two, three, four rows defined in that table. And I'm just going to go to File and Save here before I go into Design View. Now when we go into Design View, you're not going to see anything here, whether you're in Live View or whether you're outside of Live View. You will see the little flashing cursor there. But right now the table doesn't have any content. It's just got structure. So let's go ahead and add some content into your, actually let's add the structure that's going to enable us to put content into this table. So I'm going to go back into code view here. And you remember there are two different items that you can use for your table data cell or for your table cells. The TH tag and the TD tag. And again, I typed that in there wrong, but we've got THs for table header cells and TDs for table data cells. So I'm going to come up here. My first row in my table is going to be my header row for my table. So I'm going to do THs there. And I'm actually just going to open and close them just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do, actually I'm going to take that space out of there. Highlight this. Copy. Copy and paste is your best friend inside of Dreamweaver. So there are the four cells that are going to be in this first row of my table. Now I can do the same thing down here. Paste that in. Whoops. Just paste that on in there and you'll see I get two more cells. But the second row inside of my table, whoops, I put that in the wrong place. You gotta be really careful to put things in the right place. There we go. So my second row and the first cell of my second row. But this cell isn't a header row. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to TDs. 
And again, I'm going to copy that and then just paste it in here three more times. So I now have four header cells in my first row and four data cells in my second row. And I'm just going to copy all that, click into my third row, and there are my data cells for my third row and also for my fourth row. And I'll save that and again go back into design view and you're going to see if you're not in live view some some uh, visual aids here. If I go into live view you won't see anything at all. And again this is because we haven't added any content to our table. So I'm going to come back into code view here and now let's go ahead and add some information. I'm going to go ahead and type um, column 1 here and column 2, column 3, and finally column 4. So now I have some content in the first row of my table and they also happen to be headers. So when I go into design view, you'll now see those column headers. And again, they're bold because my THs by default are bold. They're also centered, but since this is only, um, we only have one piece of content here, you can't actually see that. Now I'm going to come back into code view and add some more information in here. And in this case, I'm just going to add some numbers to uh, my table. random information here. My final row. Okay, I'll save it and go into design view and there is my table. And if I go into, actually I'm in live view here now, I'll come out of live view and you'll see the table borders are there or the table visual borders are there, as well as these visual aids down here. So that's a very simple way to set up a table inside of HTML. Now obviously there's a few more things you need to know about these uh, tables, especially dealing with column groups and scope and things like that. And that's what we're going to be discussing in our next video.